Hideki Matsuyama. He made history. He won the Masters yesterday, but really, he won it on Saturday. He won it on Saturday, and then he won it again on Sunday because it was the back nine on Saturday that he played the final eight holes in six under. He went from being two shots off the lead to leading by four shots going into Sunday. That is legitimately one of the great Saturday back nines in the history of Augusta. But despite that fact, despite the fact that he had a fat lead going into Sunday, there still were doubters. There were still folks who were only too happy to take the field over Matsuyama. Even with the lead, after all, there were much bigger names in the field than the guy with the lead. Bigger names that have had experience and success. And I understand that, right? Sleeping with the lead on Saturday night is never an easy thing to do, ever. But this cat's different. If you watched him and you know anything about him, you know that this is not a guy that shows a lot of emotion. It's not a guy who actually talks very much at all. He's just doing work. This guy is just doing work. He had a plan. He worked that plan. However, according to him, his plan did not go according to plan on Saturday night going into Sunday morning. Like I said, it is not always easy to sleep with a four-shot lead on Saturday. But I could see that. And then those nerves end up showing up big. Big time on that first tee. For the first time, the leader by four strokes knew that he was the leader by four strokes and played with the weight of the entire world on his back. Because we're not talking about a guy just looking to win his first major. We're talking about a guy looking to win his country's first major. And it's a weight that he really did appear to feel at the PGA Championship back in 2017 when he had that lead at the turn and then bogeyed five of his final nine holes and then finished in fifth. Now he had another look, and he was nervous yet again. He went right off the first tee, had a scramble for a bogey. Meantime, up ahead, Will Zalatoris, the guy who looked like Happy Gilmore's caddy, had a couple of birdies. And then suddenly, Hideki's lead is down to just one. The guy had been on the course for less than 15 minutes and watched his lead get shredded. And you could feel what was coming next, right? It seemed like one of those Sundays at the Masters was getting to another player. Like it had gotten to so many other guys before him. Guys with bigger names than him. Guys with much better resumes than him. I mean, you can run down a list of the guys who've had leads on Sunday at Augusta only to choke them away. And yes, I know, the C word is a reason to go in golf. But I'm talking about legitimate chokes. And this is the anniversary of a bunch of the most brutal chokes. Greg Norman, 25 years ago. Rory McIlroy, a decade ago. Jordan Spieth, five years ago. Some of the biggest names in golf get absolutely abused on Sunday at Augusta. I mean, because the pressure there in that moment is unlike anything even those guys have ever experienced. So if you're like Hideki and you've never won a major before, it's even worse. And again, he's carrying the hopes and dreams of an entire country. So it would have been no surprise to me if that guy or if the guy who saw his four-shot lead get cut to one after the first hole, bogeyed the second, and then shot a 79 on the day and then finished way back in the pack. That would not have surprised me at all because we've seen that before. And when we've seen it, it's been pretty horrible to watch. It's a train wreck, man. And remember, the trains can't stop. That, however, did not happen to Hideki. He wouldn't let it. He birdied number two. He just did his thing while everybody around him couldn't do anything at all. And before long, that four-shot lead that had been cut to one was back up to five and then to six. Now we're just talking about a smooth, easy victory lap. You've got everybody else playing for second, and this guy's got it. At least usually that's the cliche. But in this case, that was a fact. Spieth, Rom, Z, Rose, all hoping to finish second because there were no way they were going to run down the leader. 
He was just playing rock solid golf, and they were all backing up. The pressure was getting to them, not to him. And then just when you thought that all the drama got sucked out of it completely and there was no chance of any excitement on the back nine, then we get to 15. Xander. Love Xander. Xander had birdied three straight going into 15. And then Hideki absolutely cranked a four iron. Just when you thought there might be some extraordinary drama. Just when you thought Xander might have a chance to somehow rip the green jacket. He gets wet. And he did it in a situation where it seemed harder to find the water than to not. And that sent his third shot into the gallery. And I don't know if it was the pressure or the moment that got to Xander. I certainly would not crush him for it. If it did, that's just how brutal that pressure is. Sunday at Augusta, it makes great golfers do really weird things. And it says here, this will not be the last time that Xander is in contention on the back nine on Sunday at Augusta. I'm not worried about him. That's going to hurt. That's going to sting. That's going to stay with him, but I'm not worried about him. He will be back in a similar spot with a chance to win, and I think he will. At some point, just like I'm not going to worry about Hideki either, because that final obstacle was that tee shot on 18. He nailed it, complete with a club twirl. Thought it was badass. Nothing but respect for breaking out the twirl on the 72nd hole when you've got a lead at the Masters. And then he closed it out. And there he is, your Masters champ. The pressure gets to everybody. It just did not get to him nearly as much. He treated that pressure like a privilege. He shook it off. Talking about the winner. Making winning the green jacket and making history as the first male golfer from Japan to win a major. And that will no doubt be huge there. But there is no reason why he shouldn't be huge everywhere. Don't limit it to just that. He just won the Masters. He's a hell of a player. He could be a hero in Japan and all around the world, because that was cold as hell, that was brass as hell, that was cool as hell. Loved it. 